seven. And once again, to take flight. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Wednesday night pre-flight episode one thirty nine. As par the usual, I am Cobble S. Cobble. Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another fun fan pool just full of entertainment on pre-flight this week on the FSCW Network. We had a hell of a show last week, and we're going to start it off again with Mr. James Strider coming down again. This man defeated, uh, defended his title twice last night, last week, and won both times. And against both competitors, some serious skill levels as those times, but they could not beat Mr. Strider. So we're going to start off again with our Royal Rumble follow-up match between Aiden Foster and Drake Avery. We saw last night that son of a bitch pulled out a fucking uh, beautifully executed possum move where he was able to get bait Drake in and get Drake the first pinfall and then unbeknownst to him just stored those tiger bombs and then one right after the other was pinning Drake instantaneously. The best possum movement I've seen in quite a while, so kudos to Foster. So Drake is pissed, <laughs> to say the least. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Drake is going to combat that this week. Because we saw a majority of the match, Drake had the advantage. And Foster just didn't want to, I guess he was just tinkering with him. And then eventually, when Drake didn't expect it, two real pick real quick pin covers and Drake before he could even see what happened was already out of the match and done with but it was amazing tactics there by Mr. Aiden Foster so we'll see what he's able to do this time since he knows what kind of tricks potentially Foster has up his sleeve so, as Foster makes his way down to the ring, you have to just give him the props he deserves for pulling out those tactics. You just have to. And he literally destroyed Drake at the end of that match. And it was just kind of... We were very surprised. Will he be able to hide it again? We don't know. But we'll have to see how it goes out there. So uh, here we go to ladies and gentlemen. Our first match of the evening. Let's see if Foster can uh, surprise Drake again or does Drake come back. Only one way to find out. Here we go. Drake's going to open up with a drop salt right out the gate. Try to pop him out before he gets to them. Drake goes right after that leg now. Going to stretch it out, try to hyperextend it. Flipping senton. But Foster is taking a sweet time, goes to the headlock, but Foster is going to come back. He's going to do a pullback, belly to belly suplex. Over the top head release. Drake, uh, Foster goes under. Drake drops down to us uh, there. Another drop salt. Going right after Foster, right out the gate. Foster going to the right hand, goes to the front face lock. Foster going to put Drake up and smash him right back down to the ground with a brain buster. But Lufez Press is going to come out of nowhere from Drake and go right on top of Foster. Foster is going to push Drake away. Foster going to a rolling neck breaker to swing the momentum back in his favor. Drake, he's going to get it. Waist lock and then until uh, teardrop suplex. Foster picks up Drake. Foster goes back to that front face lock. Throws him in the corner. But kick right to the fucking spine. 
and Drake, and uh, not Drake, but Aiden has not very small feet. He's got his 11 double E wide boot. And Drake trying to keep the uh, separation, but Foster is going to just work a way around it and just stomp him into oblivion. And beautiful dragon screw takedown there as Drake getting Foster out of there, keeping that separation. And Drake going to tie him up into a knot. And Foster's tied up like a fucking pretzel. But Foster just too strong, and Drake's going to uh, lose his grip. And Foster's going to escape. They lock up in the center. Foster goes to the wrist lock. Drake gonna get eat the corner. Kick another kick right to the spine. Drake's face down again. Aiden, they go lock back up in the top corner. Aiden goes to the back to that wrist lock, back to the front face lock, single arm Fujiwara arm bar. And Foster working over Drake and Warren's right into a uh, hip toss. Drake kicked in the mid uh, midsection. From there on Foster, goes back into his thing, and Foster's there to cut him off again. Big left hook. Pull back clothesline. Foster is just running a clinic in there of how to do counter for counter. And speaking of counter, Drake gets one out of there, but Foster's there to catch him off there. And Foster, all right, here he goes. Foster going up. Gonna hit that. Oh, god damn. The cross bomb. Here comes the pin. Drake's gonna kick out at one. Another drop salt. Drake is gonna go for the cover one. Foster's gonna kick out after hitting that crucifix sit out power bomb. Foster goes to the wrist lock. Going to do a hammerlock, work on that shoulder and arm. So Drake can't do much about that. And Drake going to run right into another hip toss. And Foster going to take a step outside. And yep, yep, he's going to our announce table. Drake is going to come out and join him. Drake hits a missile drop kick, but Foster can't beat it. And finally sweeps it there. And somehow, Foster gets thrown to the table with that sweep maneuver. They lock up on the outside. Foster goes to the front face lock. And Drake's going to power his way out. And Drake going to go to a tilt to whirl uh, tilt to whirl through a chair. tilt to whirl head scissors. That might be it. Here's the cover. One, two. That's enough. Drake is going to pull the victory out with the sweep maneuver and the tilt to whirl head scissors through a chair. That's just a bad fucking day. And Drake is going to take the victory. Turnabout is fair play. The ref allowed it, but I don't think he expected him to get hit by that chair. And Drake is going to savor this victory, and now they are one and one apiece. And our, our cameras are heading to the back. What's going on? So our, he our cameras are heading to the back. And oh, four, oh, Jay, Justin's getting tagged. And 4X wants a shot at that TV title. And here we go. 4X. Hasn't had much gold here in the double, uh, besides the cruiserweight, the heavyweight. He wants to be one of the Triple Crown winners. A whole, all those titles that he uh, finds hard to find, but he only has a couple more to go, and he will have that Triple Crown victory. But for, at this time, 4X wants that TV title, and 4X is going to throw him high knee right to judge his face. Uh... James is going to kick in the midsection, tee off to the face, both kicks. 4X going to line up, big high knee to the face. 4X knee to the midsection, kick and seat, Meteora. Driving James right to the ground, 4X going after that kick. And Jason, uh, 
James is just getting his uh, handed to him right now. James is going to come back with a knee to the face. Come right hands, left hook. 4X is going to cut him off again with a knee to the kitchen sink. They're going to run and missile drop kick to James. Spinning leg drop. 4X, European uppercut. 4X is going to try it again. High lifting knee. Kick right to the legs. 4X is all over James. He wants that title bad. And those tech supplies are just going nuts right now. 4X going all over James. James comes back with a clothesline, misses. James gets a European uppercut of his own. Second European uppercut. 4X has come back and knee to the midsection, normal to the face. 4X. I'm going to throw James into the tech equipment once again. And oh god, no! 4X! 4X is going to win the belt! He becomes a triple crown winner of the FSCW with that TV title win. Now he's held the TV title, the cruiserweight title, the heavyweight title, and the tag team titles. 4X is your current... TV title champion. What a match. 4X wanted that. He tasted it and took advantage. Now he's got to try and escape Dodger. Somebody else that tries to take off on him. So... Our camera's going to head back to ringside now. We're, we're, supposed, we're uh, waiting on our guests to join us. For uh, It was uh, Kay Vermont who was supposed to join us on commentary, so we're waiting for her because she was going to make her appearance known as we're waiting here. And uh, apparently she's not, uh, she's not here yet, so it is what it is. Because she wanted to be out for the next match because we have our final females uh, MXC series qualifier captains qualifier match coming up right now. After this match we will have our fourth and final captain for the women's division and they will start to form their teams. So everybody's got either a new shot or a second chance at life to get their ability to choose their own teams. So, it's going to be very interesting to see how this is going to go. And we also have our final men's Survivor Series uh, match is going to be our main event. So we have a full card as well. We'll have our final captains for the men's division for their MXC. So it should be very interesting to see how it goes. But up next we have our championship scramble match for the final women's spot and a quick uh, review for everyone's that were questions two divas two uh, superstars start they went by pinfall submission over another diva and becomes the current champion the one who has the la has the last pinfall before the 20 minutes is up is becomes the final captain to select their team so who is it going to be And Vanessa is going to bring down the title this time around. Like we said, this is a final shot. Or, or a final shot for ones that have tried previously for the other matches. And some of them, this was their first appearance at a shot at the captain's chair. So, Vanessa is going to start us off here.
And next will be Beth Myers. She came up short previously, so this is her last shot. At getting a chance to create her uh, captains. To create her team to go against Cade and her team, Radiance, and Breezeman. So. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Also, thank you all once again for joining us here on the FSCW Network for another action pack episode of Pre Flight. So, here we go. 20 minutes on the clock. Big boot to the face. Vanessa, um, Beth is going to go to the wrist lock. Vanessa is going to counter to the front face lock. Vanessa setting up, vertical suplex, stomps on Beth, Beth rolls away, they lock up again in the corner, Beth is going to win this round, and going to go for a shin breaker, and Beth comes by their big clothesline, and Vanessa is going to dump Beth over the top, Beth is going to come back in the hard way, and going to sitting senton, her way into the ring, gonna roll over and put Vanessa into the moose knuckle, but the ropes are right there, so Vanessa's going to power out of it. Stomps on her a bit, big right hand. Vanessa to the front face lock. Vanessa gonna do that big hip toss, that deep hip toss arm drag. Vanessa goes to the wrist lock. Vanessa going to send her with a pull back, big shoulder block. Beth is going to counter the kick to the midsection, go to the front face lock of her own. Beth going to do a pull back, power slam on Vanessa. These two very physical women here. Going to hit a pendulum back, oh, sidewalk slam through the ropes. That's going to fuck up all of your parts. Your neck, your back, and try and get those steel ropes and... Beth goes for the Bulldog, another Bulldog. Vanessa going to duck under the waist lock. And Vanessa going to backside suplex. Vanessa going to go back to the headlock. Beth's going to counter to the waist lock. And Vanessa going to counter that to the front face lock. And Vanessa, another vertical suplex. Vanessa picks up Beth, but Beth is going to sling her uh, across the ring. And Vanessa's going to run into the ref by accident. Ref's getting out of dodge now as Vanessa's going to dump Beth on her back with the scoop slam. Vanessa standing moonsault. Vanessa pulling out all the flash. And Vanessa, another big vertical suplex. Beth had to come back and fight through the midsection down below. But Vanessa's going to counter a kick to the midsection. And going to do a running power slam. Vanessa dragging Beth out. Vanessa going to attempt to go for a cover. But no, she got stuck by somehow. But Beth is going to go to the, Vanessa's gonna go to the waist lock and went right back to that shin breaker. And Beth is down once again. Vanessa going to drag her to the center, try and go for that cover. But no, Vanessa is trying some of those, and she's going to roll her over. Double X handle the swell of the neck and the spine. Vanessa going to dump Beth over the top. And Vanessa going to bring her back in the hard way. Vanessa being just vicious tonight. Beth's going to come back and punch her in the midsection. Come back with a couple of right hands to the waist lock. Vanessa's going to counter to the front face lock, and Beth is going to power her way out of it. Beth has, it looks worse for wear, but Beth is going to catch her. 
and hit the bar brawl. Drives Vanessa on her head through the bar table. Here's the cover. One. Vanessa's going to kick out at one. Vanessa comes back with her right hand, goes to the headlock. Elbow to the face. Beth is going to come back with a front face up with her home, but Vanessa's going to counter to the wrist lock. Beth's going to counter that to the front face lock. Vanessa's going to counter that into a headlock. And scoop slam to finish the move. Vanessa's roll over Beth once again. And Vanessa uh, hits the shiny wizard. Will that be enough? Vanessa picks Beth back up, sends her into the corner. Vanessa, big shoulder, but Beth is going to counter it with a knee in the midsection. Beth is going to do a call, pull back clothesline. And it's all, it's been back and forth now, and we have our next competitor joining us now, and it's Moxie. She's running in. Beth going right back to the center aisle, but walks right into a flying in Moxie. Moxie going to get countered into a front face buster. Vanessa going to try and get involved back now, but Moxie's in there with Beth, and Beth is just raking the eyes of Moxie. Moxie brings out a drop kick. Beth is down, uh, looks worse for wear. Moxie's going to get thrown into the corner. Vanessa's going to go to the waist lock, standing switch. Pull back, throw Beth into the ropes. And going to drive her shoulder first into the post. Beth is down for a time being now as she drives that gigantic thigh of Vanessa into Beth's face. Moxie tries to do a uh, spinning leg uh, lariat, but nobody home. Moxie comes back with her right hand. Goes, Moxie goes for the kicks. Oh, chop block. And Moxie's right there. And Beth is going to sweep the legs out of Moxie, but walks right into a right hand from Vanessa. Vanessa goes to the waist lock. Big suplex. Backside suplex. Vanessa going to drag Beth for the cover. Vanessa going to try again, but Moxie's right there to intercept. And Moxie's going to put her in the moose knuckle. And Vanessa's going to break it up. Moxie to the waist lock. Beth is going to counter to the front face lock. Moxie is going to eat a knee to the face. Vanessa is going to get involved as soon as that move was over. Beth is going to get thrown into the corner. And Moxie's sitting there waiting for her right there. Spins her around. Kicks her right back in the mids and the spine and the kidney area. Vanessa spins her around. Throws Beth back into the corner. And right back to that shoulder, and Vanessa's dissecting that shoulder of Beth. And she drives that thigh right in the face of Beth. Vanessa going to try and go for a cover, but Moxie's right there, and Moxie's going to intercept, but Vanessa's going to go to the waist lock. Beth's going to counter to a hammer lock and send Mo uh, Vanessa away. Moxie's going to throw Beth into the corner. Vanessa comes in with a diving shoulder block. Moxie, it's all just a beat up Beth show, and Vanessa says enough of that, has a big boot and clips both of them. Vanessa goes to the wrist lock. Beth's going to counter to the front face lock. Beth going to pull back, power slam. But Vanessa's going to fight out of it. Moxie's going to catch her, and good. God, it's the blackout. Double X handle the face. Moxie going for the gory special. Hits the gory special. Moxie going to try and just drag Bethany down, but Beth is going to get Vanessa in the way. Moxie going to send Beth into the ropes. And Japanese arm drag. And Vanessa's right there, going to tie her up on the ropes, working on that shoulder in midsection once again. And Vanessa going over that single leg takedown right into an ankle lock. Vanessa just vicious as a hell. Moxie's going to counter the front face lock. Moxie is throwing Vanessa into the corner. Beth is coming with a clothesline. Beth goes for a cover, but she's in the ropes. 
Beth kicks to the midsection, right hand to Vanessa. Vanessa's gonna count with a big boot and just topples Beth down. Vanessa picks Bethy back up. Vanessa goes after uh, Moxie to the waist lock, elbow to the face. Big right hand. Every time Vanessa tries to go for a pin, Moxie's there to break it up. Breaks it up there. Beth grabs an arm. Beth's going to throw Vanessa into the corner. Beth's going to put Vanessa up top. What she got in mind here, punches her in the face. Going for a super vertical suplex. Calls that Skyfall. Moxie's there to tie her up there. Elbow to the face of Beth. Moxie to the waist lock. To the front face lock. Elbow to the face. Moxie going to get turned around by Vanessa. Vanessa's going to pull back clothesline. Our next competitor is Sabrina Danger Styles. As Vanessa and Bethany strap, uh, get back in the corner. Vanessa, uh, Vanessa's going to there. Moxie's going to jump, but nobody home. Beth picks up Moxie after that fail. So, uh, Vanessa goes up to Sabrina now. Moxie after Beth. Moxie drops the elbow. Sabrina kicks to the midsection. Big right hands. Moxie goes for a cover. One, two, three. Moxie has the first call of the match. Vanessa kicks to the midsection. Bethany's coming back. Gonna hit the bar brawl. Hits the bar breaker. Beth goes for the cover. One. Moxie's gonna kick out at one. Vanessa's kicked in the midsection. Moxie. And hits the crash and burn. And Vanessa hits a backside suplex. Moxie's going to throw Beth over the top. Moxie's going to boot there. And oh god, look at that choke fly. Moxie taken to the skies. Takes out Bethany as Sabrina goes for a arm break, an arm bar. Beth is in a bad spot on the outside. Vanessa's going to win. We get a shin breaker on Sabrina. And Vanessa going over to single leg Boston Crab. Beth has just been beaten to death. Moxie going to win in and breaking the submission hold. Moxie comes back with that shot to uh, Vanessa's thighs. Moxie's going to counter it, but then Sabrina's going to counter it. Big uh, high angle neck breaker. And a spinning pow suplex there from Sabrina. Moxie's calling for a uh, roller crash. Hits the turn and burn. Moxie goes for the cover. But Sabrina's going to capture suplex and launch, launch Beth across the ring. Sabrina's going to take to the cross armor. He's going to catch Bethany from the vaulting spring body. Vanessa's just going to grab Goozle Moxie by the neck. Sabrina's hit a belly to belly release suplex. Vanessa, she's gonna try and go for a cover. No, Sabrina's gonna there to break it up. And Sabrina hits a uh, Rana. Vanessa gonna go back to uh, Beth. Sabrina's gonna go for a cover on Moxie. Moxie kicks out. Beth takes her up top. Vanessa comes like a big right hand. Good God, grief! What's Vanessa got in mind now? Russian leg sweep. What is Vanessa? Oh, fucking Christ! Vanessa choke slammed Beth off the top as Sabrina's gonna hit a wheelbarrow face buster with the distraction. Beth has been goddamn been broken in half. Sabrina goes for a cover. Moxie kicks out. Beth has no idea where she is at all. And we will be right back here, ladies and gentlemen, as Vanessa goes for a cover. 